I, I don't think he's a good representative for our business. I mean, look at him. He's eating the competitor's product. He's flailing his arms around. He's grabbing his throat. Oh, I think he's choking. Oh, a machine. What does it do? So far as I can tell, it takes your money and then it calls you a girl. <laughs> yeah, I had some friends like that in high school. They weren't your friends, honey. <laughs> you gonna punch it or what? All right. All right. <sighs> Sorry, machine, I'm gonna punch you now. Go, you're losing the element of surprise. Yeah! Tough guy, tough guy. It's one of those nature sound CDs. It takes away stress. Kamesh, you can stop doing all these things. You don't have a temper. Can you please stop pistol whipping your father? Oh, it's fine, honey. <sighs> but what about when I punched that machine? You punched a machine that was designed and built to be punched. Well, I just know I have a temper. In fact, you're kind of making me angry right now. Well. I look forward to seeing that. You want me to lose my temper? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here it comes. I'm waiting. Well, I can't do it with you watching. Fine. I'll pull over to the side of the road and you can lose your temper behind some bushes. Oh, now you're making fun of me. <laughs> Honey. What is it? The snapkin dispenser. I was trying to refill it and it wasn't working and I was getting angry. But you're smiling. Oh, I guess I got so excited about you seeing me get angry that it put me in a great mood. Sorry. Oh, I'm in a fantastic mood. I gotta walk it off here. But... Cool! 1985 Pontiac Fiero? The king of cars. Where did you get this? Oh, you can get them anywhere. I've got three. You got three Fieros? Oh, no, I, no, I thought you meant the tarp. This is so weird. I have respect for you now. You didn't have respect for me before? No. I'll have the usual. Can I get a fizzy water, please? Yeah, I'll get a fizzy water, too. What's with the fizzy water, ladies? Hey, Pramesh is a man. He drives a Fiero. Thanks for saying I'm a man, Bill. Uh-huh. Mm. Too fizzy. It was tough for Bill to reconcile. Pramesh was the opposite of macho. And yet, Pramesh had... Fiero. La piccola macchina che sembra un astronave. Fiero! 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 Incoraggia la donna a lasciarsi andare. Fiero! Strabordo di desiderio. Fiero. <laughs> Okay, fine. You got a cool car and you speak fluent Italian. What? But you never take it out, and that's wrong. My mission in life is to get you to drive that car. But something might happen. Yeah, something might happen. Something awesome. Well, our babysitter just canceled. Oh, no. Date night. Sorry, honey. We'll try it again sometime. This is perfect. You and me, we got to take out the Fiero tonight. All right. Let's get her rolling. Hey. My car's not a girl, it's a man. Can't be a man. Cars are girls. Knight Rider's car was a man. It just had a man's voice. It was a girl. You're telling me that car was a girl? The character the car played was a man. But the car was a girl. That show was more complicated than I thought. Come back later. I'm making muffins. Oh, yeah? Tough luck, lady. Can't stop the lone wolf. Okay. Okay, peel away. Oh, sorry. Uh, pick up some bread. Sure thing, honey. Can't stop us. Can't stop an entire wolf. Yerk! Whoa! Oh, I brought CDs. Excellent! Yeah. It can only play tapes. Oh. What tapes do you have? None. Who still has tapes? Well, crank the radio. It's stuck on one channel. Who cares, man? Crank it! You're listening to CBC Radio 1. I'm Paul Kennedy. Tonight on Ideas, Male menopause, an hour-long meditation on the loss of virility that comes with middle age. Hey, that sounded interesting. Mesh. What? That could affect us. Male menopause. Okay, okay, you're right. I'll check out the podcast later. Guess I needed to plan out this road trip a bit more. 
We could play I Spy. That works on road trips. We're adults. We could play Dirty I Spy. All right, Dirty I Spy. Let's do it. How do you play? Well, I don't know. I just thought of it. Maybe it's like regular I Spy, but with cursing. I Spy something red. Crap. That's not. Hell. I don't think. But puke. Maybe we should just go home. No, I don't think the muffins will be done yet. Why don't we go to the curling club? I'm there five nights a week. I spy something blue. Nipples! Stop! Is it this guy? Yes? Yes. Okay, congratulations to you. Really? Actually, no. The employee of the month goes to Pramesh. Oh. Oh. Back at Speedy Treat, Pramesh was trying to shake the sinking feeling that he was just an employee in his own store. Did Ronnie say you could have that? It wasn't going to be easy. You've already had four cookies and a mouthful of whipped cream. I can have all the whipped cream I want. I'm the boss. Really? Because Ronnie seems to be in charge. Ronnie and I run this place together, and she lets me have all the whipped cream I want. Sorry, I'm, I get confused because Ronnie hired me, and she signs my checks, and she knows my name. Can we just stay on topic, please, Jane? Not even close. The point is, I'm in charge. OK, then I need next week off. Fine. A shift change for the madame. So I have next week off. Yeah. I just have to check with Ronnie. I need to talk to you about this employee of the month thing. I'm glad we worked that out. You are the heart. Yeah, yeah, heart, smiling. But it seems to me there's someone at work who, who, who's a better heart, a better smiler. And that person's name is Lisa, what is her name? Her name is Robin. Really? I know. Doesn't suit her face. Her parents made a huge mistake. <laughs> but if she's the best employee and you're the manager, then what am I? Part of a great team. One of the parts that makes it great? The part I love the most. Yeah, but... I wonder if the girls are doing their homework. So listen, there's this, this girl at work named... Whatever. And she's the star employee. Talking about Robin? And Ronnie handles all the management stuff. And then there's me, useless in my own store. Sorry, is your complaint that your wife takes care of all the management stuff, some kid does all the hard labor, and you get to kick back? I guess. Plus, you own the business, and you can't get fired for doing squat? Yeah. Tough life, Pramesh. <laughs> wow, you're right. I know. That's very insightful. Thanks, Bill. Don't forget to scrape the gum off from under there. Kiddo. The cats have got to swing. Meow! Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>